The assemblies and components in VicOffice Cost Planner can contain much more information than just the, the code, the description, the cost per unit, uh, quantity, and price. Now, you probably don't want to see all that information all the, all the time, and depending on the task at hand, uh, you will want to show or hide columns. In this video, I will explain how you can use the uh, column chooser uh, to manage the collection of columns in the Cost Planner view. I've mentioned the Cost Planner layout presets in the previous videos. They are the predefined sets of visible columns that you can activate to achieve a certain task, such as calculating cost or checking quantities. With the column chooser, you can modify these predefined sets by selecting from the list of available columns which ones you would like to see. You can save the custom set of visible columns by saving your own custom preset. In the Cost Planner view, and I currently have the Cost preset active, uh, you can right click on a column header and that opens the context menu which contains the option column chooser. And when I open that you get the uh, list of all the columns that are available for components and assemblies in your cost plan. The ones with a check mark are currently visible and if I would like to add for example status I click that item and that will then show the status column in my cost plan view. Let's also include the cost type information. And I click OK. And now those columns have been added. I can change the position of those columns by simply grabbing the header and moving it to the position where I would like it to be. If you would like to create your own preset, that is possible as well. You can go into the Manage then uh, manage item uh, for the layout presets and that opens the list of currently available presets in the in the cost planner view then I click the plus button and uh, I can change the name for that so that could be my own preset and if I would like to change which columns are active I click the edit button and that opens up the column chooser again uh, so I remove whatever I don't want to see and, uh, and add the columns that I do want to see. Uh, so maybe I would like to remove these and add uh, the cost type and maybe the target cost as well. And that will then allow me uh, to select that preset later on if I would like to reuse it from the my manage uh, button in the uh, view controls and layout presets. In this video I explained how you can use the column chooser to modify the currently visible columns in the cost plan view. If desired you can also save the custom set of visible columns as a custom preset so you can use that later on uh, after switching projects or after making additional changes.